Welcome to Twin City Tidbits. My name is Ben Barry, and today we're going to go over how to change your belt. Let's go meet up with our field service technician, Anthony Landberg, and he is going to show us how it's done. Let's go. Hey, good afternoon. Anthony Landberg here. I work in the field service department at Twin City Fan Companies. We're here on the roof of the of the headquarters of TCF. We call it the Crystal Palace as you look around on such a beautiful Minnesota day. Um, I'm lucky to be out here on the roof. And I'm talking to you about commercial units, more specifically, some quick maintenance we can do to ascertain and guarantee the health of your system. Today I'm gonna to be specifically working on the, uh, the belt, the belt tension and the health of your belt. First thing I wanna do is make sure I get home safe. I want to make sure I, got, I leave with as many body parts as I started with. So I've got my goggles on, I've got long sleeves, even though it's a Minnesota summer day. I've got my gloves on, I want to take care of my fingers. I've also removed energy from this system by going down to the electrical panel and turning it off. Here inside the system I have a, a shut off as well that I'll be utilizing. This way I've locked out, tagged out my system so that I, I am not afraid of energy being supplied to the system while I'm working on it. I don't want the rotating assembly to lop off some fingers. I don't want to get my face caught in the belt. And what we're going to do here is uh, take care of the belt. And the belt is used to transfer energy from the motor to the rotating assembly. And now we also have a third pulley here, which is actually called the idler shiv. And this is what creates the tension on the belt. And so the first thing we're going to do is not only ensure the proper tension, but we're gonna look at the health, we're gonna check the health of the belt. And I've gone ahead and I've, and I've loosened this idler shiv so I can easily pull off the uh, belt. I know uh, a lot of you out there in Twin City fan territories like to use a uh, broomstick or, or a, uh, a screwdriver to pull your belts off, but, but trust me, do it the easy way, be gentle with your equipment, loosen that idler shiv, pull off the belt. The next thing I wanna do while looking at the belt is I wanna ascertain the health of the belt. That's a pretty good looking belt. No cracks, no chips, no frays, no threads coming out of the belt. It's a solid black color, I like it. I have here its distant cousin, pretty gnarly belt. See how it's chunked out, there's pieces missing, there's fraying. This isn't a good belt, I do not like them. These two don't talk to each other at the family reunions. Another thing I like to do when I have the, the belt off, so take a look at the shivs. Make sure that the mating surface is inside of the mouth of the shiv is clean. Want to have a good seating surface for that belt. Look at your motor shivs as well and the idler pulley. Is everything clean? I would also rotate your assembly. Rotate that fan assembly. How does it feel? Is it rubbing against anything? Same with the motor. Any crunchies in there? It should turn smoothly without that belt. Idler pulley, same thing. As you rotate that idler pulley, it should rotate smoothly. Installation is reverse of the removal. Taking my new belt and properly ensuring tension. Once I know it's set, then I can go ahead and tighten it down. Last step would be, of course, supplying energy to the unit and double checking my work, making sure there's no squealing belts, magic smoke erupting from the unit, uh, pieces flying off. Depending on the model, you'll have different ways of tightening that belt. On some of our larger industrial models, you want to make sure you get that belt tension correct. I would consult the individual operating manual for that model. Typically speaking, we would use a span over 64 technique. You measure the span between your shivs, divide by 64. That number should be the total deflection of your belt. However, on this unit, we have an idler shiv. And that idler shiv is gonna actually do the work of the tensioning. So we will make this idler shiv tight enough against the belt so that it grips and it doesn't slip, but not too tight in order to scream or smoke or create damage on our shivs or bearings. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Uh, hopefully I can get down off of this roof. I think there's a close tree I might be able to shimmy down, but otherwise, if you haven't heard from me in about a week, give me a call. We'll talk about fans. I'm in the field service department. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks, Anthony, and we'll make sure to get you a ladder to get you off of this roof. But thank you to everyone for tuning into this episode of Twin City Tidbits. Hopefully, you were able to take something away from this, and we'll, we'll see you next time.